Bonjour and welcome to Paddy's for this week's weekly review on behalf of the Northern Ireland Women's Football Association which is brought to you by Electric Ireland. As ever we've lots of history so let's have a quick preview of what's coming up in today's show. There's match highlights from Division 3 game between Banbridge Town Ladies against Ramara Phillies Ladies as well as the goals from Belfast Swifts against Coleraine Ladies. We have an update on the new day for the recently postponed Electric Ireland Media event. And finally, it's our usual weekly roundup of all the games from across the NIWFA, which were played this week. So, Colin, this is some spot. Now, half really good to the NIWFA to pair away over to Paris on the way to Nice for the World Cup final. That's lucky really us, lucky us. So, it shows hard work does pay off. That is true. And anyway, what have we got coming up on today's show? So, this week, it sees us going into the third Division 4 game, and on paper, it should be one way traffic. On paper is one thing, on graphs a completely different thing, but uh, as you say, on paper it should be easy. Bambridge hang on into the game, top of the league. Dramara Valley is really struggling. In their first run of the season, Bambridge unbeaten. Here's the highlights.
So Colin, a win as we expected? Yeah, very much so. Uh, Banbridge got the points. Do you have to say a lot harder game than we expected? You know, we went up to that game thinking Banbridge are top of the table, Dramara. Haven't even got to win this season, to be honest, and Banbridge are unbeaten, so it only seem to go one way. But on the night, Dramara gave a really, really good account of themselves. I'm not sure how they're close to the bottom of the league based on that performance. Yeah, well, I mean, it just all comes down to what has to play on the day, isn't it, really? Well, that's what it's all about. At the end of the day, you know, it's uh, they both gave 100%. Banbridge hit the brakes, uh, got a couple of goals, and that sort of sunk uh, Dramara. But it was a good game. Exciting game against Banbridge and so we can't get what do you think? Yeah, that's Banbridge's next game with our joint top is and Oliver Plunkett going into the next game. It's not the end of July, but I think that would probably be the, the title decider in terms of this division. So uh, both teams will really need to win and find a really good game. Yeah, well I'm looking forward to that anyway. Yeah, sure. So after the game, Colin caught up with Rebecca Thompson from Balbridge Town and Laura McGuinness from Demora Village and this is the had to say. Rebecca, first of all, congratulations on a great win tonight. Thank what were your you. thoughts on the game? Very physical, a few testing tackles, injuries early on, but Luckily it went our way and a few good goals, so... Three massive points for the club tonight. Oh, happy days, yeah, yeah. We needed those. Season so far, very, very good. You're sitting top impressive. of the table, so you haven't dropped... You have lost no games, should I say, so Not far? Not yet. So. We draw, but no losses. No draw. So you must be well pleased. What's been the secret this year, Jane? Good team, good management. Everyone gets on. Bond off the pitch, on the pitch. Just all in all, great, great team. Okay. One big game coming up now. Oh, no, yes. no game for a few weeks. We yeah, it's we an over Plunkett. It's a top of the table clash. It could well go on to decide the table this season. One way or the other. Are you looking forward to that one? Oh, it'll be a big one now. So optimistic you can win. Hopefully, that's it. You're gonna give us a score prediction. Three one. Two. Us. Thank Always. You. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> Listen, thanks for talking to us. Thank thing. you. Okay, thanks Thank very you. much, Becky. Laura, first of all, uh, disappointment again tonight. Uh, thought overall you played very well. What were your thoughts on the game? Yeah, I mean, we always look forward to coming down here. Pambridge is always a good match for us. Um, I, I thought we were going to have them in the first half, I really did. But, I mean, there's nothing more we could have done there. Every single player put 110% in. That's what we were asked of by the coaches. And what more can you do? You know? It's been a strange sort of season. I mean, I've only seen you early tonight, but you don't look like a side who should be struggling near the bottom of the table, and yet no. you haven't got a win yet. And what's, been the, what's been the issues this season? To be honest, whenever we came here tonight, I didn't actually know Bambridge were top of the league, but to be honest, I was quite underwhelmed by their performance. I thought we really had them. Um, so, I mean, it is what it is. You know, I don't honestly know what to answer because I don't think we're a bottom of the league table. You know, I don't think we're a team that should be there. Um, but we're going to come back. We're going to keep. You know, making it hard for the teams. If they are going to beat us, we're going to make it hard for them. You talked there about coming back up, so you know you've got a week off because of the, the mm -hmm. July holidays. After that, your next game Shamrock, and they'll be another hard side. They will. We played them. Uh, I can't remember when it was actually we played them, but it was a good match for us. Um, again, we thought we had them. It's the same kind of story with us every match. We think we have them. We're maybe winning at half time, and then you know we maybe slow up or something. We kind of lose our focus, and then they come back for us. But. And maybe if you get that first win, it might spark a, a revival. Yeah, the definitely. Of the I think if we maybe had played that match there at the start of the season, it maybe would have been a different season for us because the belief would have been there that actually, do you know what? We can take a team like Bambridge and we can give them a good match. You know, even whenever the management of the other team are coming to us and saying, don't know how you use your bottom of the league, you know, that's saying something. For sure. So, yeah. Okay, listen, thanks for talking to us this evening. Thank thanks. You. Okay. Right. Okay, okay, thanks. Can you hear us? Because it's not just me, it's women all across Northern Ireland, building in strength, skill and numbers. Breaking barriers, testing limits. A quiet revolution with a strong confidence. With the support of those who guide us, challenge us and help us grow, we will change the game. You might underestimate us, but we are resilient. Can you hear us? Because you will. We are the game changers. Electric Ireland, proudly supporting women's football in Northern Ireland. Time now to have a quick review of all the scores from the Electric Ireland leagues, starting with the Electric Ireland Championship. This Vernon ladies ran right against the depleted Crew United ladies, with striker Sarah Stevenson helping herself to a triple hat trick along the way whilst Palomino defeated Kilner Rangers by three goals to nil. These results mean that Lisburn ladies are third and Palomino ladies fourth in the standings. In Electric Ireland Division 2, it was all away wins this week with victories for St James Swift, who have now won all ten of their league matches. Mid-Ulster ladies, Belfast Celtic ladies and PSNI. 
Unsurprisingly, it's a swift to leave the table with mid Ulster ladies in second place. In Electric Iron Division 2 on Monday night, Corey and ladies were determined to get back to winning ways following their defeat on television the previous week. And indeed, they didn't have to wait too long to take the lead when Abby Alexander was in hand to turn in close distance on seven months. Their joy, however, was short lived as defender come striker Mandy Timmons was able to equalise following this part of a run on strike on 14 minutes. Corey and I ever regained the lead, and once again it was Alexander, the girl on hand, to score on 41 minutes. Then, just on the stroke of half time, 2 1 became 3 1, as Sky Strickland was once again on hand to convert from close distance to make it 3 1. Full time score Belfast was 1, Corey and Ladies 3. It's Derry based side Foil Bell to continue to lead the way in Division 2, following a fine 3 1 victory away to my Joy United Ladies. However, Lauren Ladies kept up the pressure with a fantastic 7 0 victory away to Carnival Athletic, and the table now reached Foil Bells at the top, shortly ahead of Lauren Ladies, and then in behind them, Corey Ladies. In Electric Ireland Division 3, the only game played this week was our featured match between Banbridge Town and Dromar Village, with Banbridge winning, meaning they now lead the pack by three points from St Alvar Plunkett, although SOP do have a game in hand. And finally, in Electric Ireland Division 4, there were wins this week for Lisburn Rangers, Larne Olympic and Camlock Rovers. It's Lisburn Rangers still leading the way in Division 4, with Palamon Ladies seconds in second place. And finally, this week we have an early reminder for a special event that's coming up on the 23rd of July, which is the Electric Ireland Game Changers Media Event. This event has been organised by Electric Ireland to help clubs learn how to maximise their club's exposure through social and traditional media, and will feature industry experts who will share how clubs can promote themselves by creating engaging social media posts to developing relevant content for their media. The NIWFA would encourage all clubs to ensure they are represented at the event, and you can register your interest by emailing the address currently shown on your screen below, which is donal at akinpr.com. Cool. Wake up. Hmm? Wake up. No. I was just on a nice dream night. Right? We were in Paris on our way to the, the Ladies World Cup final. Well, that is a dream. It was very, very real, I'll tell you that. But uh, maybe another day. Yeah, maybe. Anyhow, who's going to win this final? Uh, oh, you're just doing That's why I predict my score first. Mm, this is recorded before the final was yeah, played, it is. in case you're watching it after. But I yeah. think it'll be 3 2 USA. I think it'll be 2 0 to the USA. No, I think Holland again will get room for the money. Well, we'll soon see. We'll know this time on Sunday night. We'll see how it turns out. Anyway, listen, thanks very much for watching today's show and for your ongoing support for women's football in Northern Ireland. As ever, it's bye for now. But don't forget, girls get football. football.